So, Trotrix Mermelio. She's she's pretty popular right now. She went from like you no know, under a buck, a, a copy to being four dollars, you know, for a rare. I guess the hype chain is real in this one. I mean, Medolce Angeli, screw her. Sylvan Charity, Sylvan Orea, the Sylvan High Arbiter, or whatever. Screw that shit. Freaking Bougians? Lol, what? Gustos? Who the fuck cares about Gustos? But, freaking Tragic's Marmelio and Tragic's Trapple Nightmare? Yeah, there's the hype train that we all want to get on, and there's the drama. So, that's a thing, but, anyways. Hey everybody, Lead Speed here, coming at you with one of these video duel with discussions in them. Like, I don't know, that's kind of a thing that I tend to do live duels is, I don't know, I don't know how I feel with doing live duels these days. Like, I'll do live Pokemon online, Pokemon showdown stuff just because I feel more, I feel more comfortable doing those technically, but that's not what you're here to, that's not what you're here to listen to me talk about. So, how about that hat deck? Now, when I say hat, H-A-T, we're talking about hands, artifacts, and Tratrix in one deck. That's right, three separate archetype engines in one deck. And after YCS Philadelphia, it got really popular. So, how does that work? Very easy. You throw in three of the fire hand and ice hand, Two incredibly annoying floaters that came out of Dragons of Legend. When Firehand in your possession is destroyed by your opponent's card, you can blow up one of their monsters. And if you do that, then you can special summon an Ice Hand from your deck. The counterpart Ice Hand does something similar, except he destroys a spell trap card on the opponent's side of the field. And if you're able to do that, you get to summon Firehand out of your deck. So it's they they basically float for each other and while and blowing up your opponent's car so obviously you can use this you know just blow stuff up and whatnot and then not lose field presence i guess it's kind of like gustles when they're not blowing shit up they're just like you know there's like a bunch of birds and bitches <laughs> yeah as somebody i saw comments they basically birds and bitches but yeah that's one part of it then you have the artifacts, mainly three copies of Moral Tack, three Artifact Sanctum. Maybe they run um, Beagle Tech, or is it the Bagel? But I don't know. They run like one of that, and I think they run Ignition sometimes. I don't know. Like basically, that's an engine in itself. It's mainly Sanctum and Moral Tack for sure. And last but not least, you have Trap Tricks. Two of them being used as opposed to the others because they're not as good, obviously. Tratrix Marmelio and Tratrix Dionia. Basically, you have three separate engines in the deck. And apparently some people were aware of it before. Now what's ironic is when I did my last discussion about Tratrix you know, and the new stuff, I think I brought up Tratrix hands at one point. I think it was because I saw people talking about that. But I didn't really think it would, I didn't think it would catch on right away because I talked about how there was a Trap Tricks artifact deck in the OCG that Asian Eyes White Dragon um, did a video about. And, you know, people were playing that and stuff like that because, you know, once people found out about it. But it's interesting. So basically, it's basically the Trap Trick artifact deck. But since the OCG at the time didn't have Fire Hand and Ice Hand, we took advantage of that fact and like, you know what? We could kind of do that too, except we'll put the Fire and Ice Hand in there. They can, their monsters that we could set or just summon and ram into things. We have the Artifact Engine in like Moral Attack and Sanctum. Sanctum basically special summons an artifact straight out of the deck. And obviously when an artifact is special summoned during your opponent's turn, they get an effect. Moral Attack destroys one card the opponent controls. A face-up card with and it does a target because at resolution it destroys the card so it's basically a way to disrupt the opponent at the same time so that's kind of crazy too and then obviously if you run ignition you can blow up their back row so if they have like floodgate cards like vanity's emptiness you could just blow that up too 
Then you have the Tretrix engine in Mermelio and Diana. Mermelio, as I said, is very popular right now. She's the hotness, I guess. Being able to get a trap hole, normal trap guard from your deck to your hand upon her normal summon is obviously very good. And her other effect to blow up a back row when she's special summoned is also nice. Compliments Diana very well because when she's normal summoned, she gets a trap trick monster from the grave in defense mode. And that triggers Mermelio's effect. So you have three, three separate engines that don't directly have synergy with one another, but it just happens to work. But yeah, seriously, like, have you looked at that? Have you thought about how much of a mess that actually is? I mean, holy crap, this is a lot of shit going on in that deck. And heck, I've seen some people talking about, like, the hands, like, getting banned. And I'm like, seriously, I don't think they should be banned. They're very annoying, yes, but I don't think they should be banned. Heck, if they should, if they ever get hit, which I don't know if they ever will or not, I think a semi limitation, because putting in the one would putting each of the hands to one would be just as trolly as putting reborn Tengu to one. Now, like I said, almost as troll. I mean, technically, if you drew one or the other of the one copy of the hands, you could still use the effect and get the other one out. But after that, that's it. You don't get another copy because there are one. But again, that's assuming they ever get touched at all. Now, what do I think about this whole hat deck thing? Honestly, I think it was a cool deck because it, it, it's kind of it kind of it's kind of like with Plant Synchro how that deck basically had a bunch of generic cards that you that you can use with each other to make plays. You know, Tengu and like Glow Bulb. You could do some crazy Synchro plays. And obviously, you run like Lone Fire, Dandelion, Spore. You use like Torgot from the Underworld. You had Sangin back then. So, you had a very interesting deck that had a lot of generic cards in it. So, and that's kind of that's kind of like that. I mean, yeah, it uses archetypes. You know, this hat deck uses uh, archetypes, but it's a mixture of like a whole bunch of different cards. Obviously, you have a rank four engine with Marmaleo and uh, you have the, with the Tractrix engine with Dianea bringing back Marmaleo for rank fours. You also have the Fire and Ice Hand, which just happened to be level four. So let's say they don't attack, you can still go for a rank four play. I mean, basically, MVPs against it would be Debunk, Abyss Dweller, etc. It's crazy though, just because I didn't think it would catch on that quick. I I heard people talking about putting the hands with them, but I didn't give that much mind just because I'm thinking, well, Madolce Anjo is about to come out and that's probably going to make a big showing. Sylvans might maybe make a showing, it just depends on how many people are actually playing the deck. But, yeah, Sylvans haven't, weren't really represented that well. I mean, there might have been like a couple in there, but they didn't do nearly as well as everybody expected and I kind of should have expected that just because I talk, I think I may have talked about like how some of my games were with Sylvans where for as many times as you can open the absolute nuts, you can open absolutely rotten. Oh my god. But with that being said, I was expecting more like, you know, Madolce or maybe even like some variant of artifact. Because, you know, artifacts had quite a bit of hype, you know, when the set first came out in Japan, but I don't know. It's just kind of weird. I think it's a cool deck, but I think this is kind of annoying now. I I don't know. I don't hate the deck or anything. Everybody like hates the deck, but I think it's cool. But it, it's kind of annoying at the same time because the hands can apparently fit in everything. I don't know. Like, let me know what you guys think about that. And yeah, seriously, some of these prices are insane. Like, I'm actually looking at some of them, like, right now on TCG Player. Like, Tragic Travel Nightmares, like, 11 bucks, 12 bucks for, like, the Unlimited, I think. And then there's, like, Artifact Sanctum being 40 bucks. And you have Angeli being close to 40 bucks. So, yeah. The hype train is real in this biatch. That sounded really awkward. I am sorry about that. But... Yeah. Shit happens, guys. Secondary market's crazy. Everyone's going ham over the Trap Tricks hand deck, even though Geargea can basically tackle it on most of the time because their monsters just 
they don't have a lot of attack. Mermelio has 16. Diana has 17. They can get best armor. And then wall armor just going flip, get up gear jet, flip face down, and sending back row, sending like 500 back row. So it's annoying, basically. I think that's it's just more of a matter of how annoying a set 5 type format is. I don't know. I mean, I'm surprised I haven't ran into any of the, to any of these at all. I think maybe one, maybe one, but heck, I don't even remember. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.